The New York Auto Show opened to the public this morning. More than a million people are expected to visit, and they'll see how more than ever car makers are showcasing, ta are showcasing technology. Jeff Pugues is at the Auto Show with a sneak peek. Jeff, good morning. Good morning. Cars and SUVs are sporting some of the latest technology here at the Auto Show. This technology and the gadgets in these vehicles are intended to protect drivers, especially when those drivers lose their focus. At the New York Auto Show, the cars and SUVs getting the most attention don't just catch your eye, they wow you with their technology. More and more, the way you live affects how and what you drive. Scott Burgess is editor of Motor Trend magazine. Car makers are just trying to enable what lifestyle we have today that you can bring it into your car. Is that a function of what is happening with these smartphones? Absolutely. I, your smartphone is your connection to the outside. Everyone feels like they have to be connected all the time. While smartphones are making our lives easier in many ways, they are increasingly dangerous behind the wheel. In 2012, more than 3,300 people nationwide were killed and about 420,000 injured in distracted driving-related crashes. In response, automakers are unveiling cars that allow people to stay connected while also staying safe. Really, the customer is going to demand and expect that more and more of that safety equipment is available in cars as we go forward. Bill Fay is an executive manager at Toyota, one of many companies whose cars have technology that alerts drivers who may be distracted. Things like auto braking technology that will stop or slow a vehicle before impact and lane assist to keep it on track. When you see the road, you can begin to drive. One of Toyota's cars at the auto show is equipped with a distracted driving simulator. We found it to be a great education piece for all drivers what the impact of taking your eyes off the road and not paying attention in a situation where you're not going to damage the car and risk your life. Some of the latest technology is taking control away from the driver altogether. Volvo is promoting their version of a car that actually drives itself. Isn't an autonomous vehicle the ultimate in distracted driving? This, is, this <laughs> yeah, means that yeah. the driver or the, the human in the car yes. is actually doing something else, right? We, we are not promoting people reading their, their, their instruments, their whatever uh, uh, smartphones they have while they are driving. The fact is they do it. Mm. But we want to make sure also that there's a safety element in it when it happens and when people do things that they're not supposed to do in the car. So when you're yeah. reading your emails or sending a text message, the car will take over for you. Exactly. It may or may not be the future of how you ride in your car. The only thing that's really going to stop autonomous driving is lawyers, not engineers, because there's going to be this need for accountability. There may be several legal hurdles in the path ahead, but self-driving cars are expected to be on the roads within the next five to ten years. Automakers right now are racing to the finish line. Gail? All right. Self-driving cars coming. Right, coming soon. Thank you, Jeff Pegues.